Well, today we're out on Lake Erie. We're gonna try fishing for some channel catfish in a shallower water. Hopefully get a few fish today. Working some uh, night crawlers under a bobber and some chicken livers. Chicken liver. All right, let it drip along. Pick up a nice channel cat. Fish on. Feel like a big fish too. Where's that anchor at? I can't see with the mud. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> This, this rod, I only think I got 12 pound test, so I'm gonna take it real easy. Cause fish out here could be over 20 pounds, you know? Yeah. He ain't budging, man. He hunkering down, my guy, man. Definitely a sizable fish, you know? Yeah. He's going back down. He don't want to come up. He's coming up. Can we do the look? Oh, that's a big one, dude. I don't think it's a monster, but I mean, it's it's 15 pound fish at least. I would think, wouldn't you? I didn't get a look at it. He don't want to come up, Mike. He don't want to come up, man. He ain't coming off the bottom, man. Big. Big, huh? Yeah. Keep away from that anchor, man. Big. He looked big, Mike. At least 15, maybe 20. I don't know. Kind of murky down there, you know? Yeah. But it's been about 20 minutes into it now. This one's only got 12 pound test, so it's going to take a little easier than we'd like to. Fighting that fish for a long time now. Seventeen pounds, Mike. Seventeen pounds. Little hair over. That fish took a took a long time to get that in, huh? Seventeen pounds. Oh. That's a big male. You can tell that's a male. The male's got the big heads. Look at the size of the head on that. Uh -huh. you get a good shot of him. Yeah. Seventeen pounder. Here we go. How we do it? See ya. Ooh, that fish was a hard fire. Let's see if we get something a little bigger. Mark just got a little catfish. Wind kind of kicking up. We can't hold anchor. Actually, we're in pretty close, man. We're only in like three foot of water. He's trying to stick you, Mike. Let's see. Catfish. Little guy, huh? Yeah, little guy. Yeah, it's something. Winds are supposed to be five mile an hour, but kicking up a little bit. We might have to pull up and go offshore before we get swamped out here. Waves are getting bigger. Go on shore and rig up some floater, floater rigs, some bottom rigs. 
six pound test on this one. Well, there's Paul up our rods. We're going to get out of here before we get swamped by these waves. And Mike <laughs> hooks a fish on his steelhead rod. He's got six pound test on the steelhead rod, and it's a monster fish. You might never get this in, dude. <laughs> we might. We might. Holy s. <laughs> He's going to spool you. Pull up that front anchor if you can. We don't have to chase, dude. He's running. Well, we gave Chase, got our line back. He's back here about 10 minutes into it. 10 minutes into it, six pound test on the steelhead rod. I don't know about that, Mike. You're gonna have to take it real easy with him. Yeah, that's a huge cat, man. I got a glimpse of him, Mike. He big. Take it easy, man. I know. You're abusing that steelhead rod, dude. Oh, look at the size of that. Not ready, Mike. Not ready. Not ready. Dude, that's a massive fish. Back up, man. Got him on six pound test, man. <laughs> that's a big cat, man. Big cat. About a 20 minute fight there, man. Let's see what we got on the scale here. Yeah, it was. Why don't we get to shore before we get swamped? You know, we can take some pictures now. Waves are you're starting to white cap out here. Well, got her just before the waves start swamping us. All right, man. 17 pounder. Oh, yeah, look at the belly on her. They're big, big, heavy fish. Here we go. See ya. All right, man. Yeah, we'll give it a try off ashore now because waves is getting too big for us. We fished about an hour on the shore using bottom rigs, uh, chicken livers, but no luck other than the rock bass my gut on a worm. We got something. Wind calmed down, so we headed back out. Casting that twister tail jig. Let it sink to the bottom. What I'm doing is just popping it up, let it sink back down, popping it up. One just hit it, I missed him. Come on, come and get it. Another one grabbed the tail, Mike. What do you got, Mike? Sheephead. Sheephead? Yeah. Fresh water drum on a worm. <laughs> Make him jump. Dude, that's a huge bass. I can't even budge him, man. Dude, that's a monster bass. Dude, what I was doing is, is I was letting it hit the bottom and it lift it up and snap, snap it up. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna be amazed at the size of this bass. Dude, look at this guy. Huh? That's a nice one. Is that a bad, massive bass? Oh, is that a big one, Mike? That's a good one. That's a nice bass. <laughs> That's a big bass, huh? Let me get the scale on him. Five pounds, dude. Five pounds. Five pounds. Minus the weight of the net, which this aluminum net don't weigh much, but Mike, <laughs> look at the size of this bass. This is five pounds, man. For a small mouth. Is that a huge bass? That's nice. <laughs> that is a huge bass. My turn to get a big bass, huh? Yeah. Dude, that's a big bass. See ya. <laughs> Where's your bobber, dude? It's gone. Got him? Got him, dude? 
fish on. <laughs> we got another drum, sheephead. Rock bass. That's a big rock bass, Mike. You got a big rock bass. Come on, man, we're supposed to be catfishing, dude. <laughs> the winds and the waves calmed down, but the fishing slowed down, too. Had a couple more hits on the livers, missed them. Mike got a sheephead and a rock bass, and he got a couple of them silver bass. I got a nice five pound smallie on a twister tail, and I lost one that was even bigger. It had to be, had to be close to six. I'm like, big fish, come fly out of water, spit it, you know. Well, that's fishing for you, you can't win them all, but better luck next time. At least we got a few nice ones today. Fishing with my dad, and we caught a ton of fish. But so yeah, we caught a bunch of them, didn't we, Mike? Yeah, man. We caught some monsters and some little ones too. All in all, I'd say it was a pretty productive day, wouldn't you? 